When a gun owner thinks about the term enemies of the Second Amendment, most likely pictures of Dianne Feinstein, Michael Bloomberg, the Brady campaign, or President Obama run through the mind. While these people truly do not want you or I to have uninfringed access to weapons, focusing on them, the political class, as the problem leads you right into their sinister game of shells. In a reality, these people are the true gun grabbers. They do not conceal their weapons or their intent. They do not hesitate to initiate violence as a means to grab your means of defense. Gun grabbers exploit all sorts of confusing laws that vary from town to town in an effort to collect guns from unknowing, peaceful, and moral people, or punish them for exercising rights. Pistol in the wrong compartment of your car? Gun grab. Ammunition not locked separately? Gun grab. Accidentally printing your firearm while concealing? Gun grab. Forget to change the address on your registration card? Gun grab. Hollow point bullets in the wrong county? Gun grab. Magazine capacity issues? Gun grab. Most gun owners know there are a million ways to get our guns or right to own one taken away. So who is going to confiscate your guns and when? Put aside what your gun rights organization has been parroting. The answer is simple. Your neighborhood cop has been confiscating guns from peaceful people since he started his job. Your brain has been trained to justify it with, well, some people shouldn't have a gun. I agree with that. But the cops flip-flop. They reward the criminals, assisting in even hosting gun buyback programs, giving amnesty to the very criminals who would have harmed you or your family. Cops can say no, they have discretion. Instead, they give criminals an easy way to fence your stolen weapons while destroying potential evidence of the crimes we ask them to solve as they cower to the wishes of those whom they serve. Conversely, if the crime you commit is possession of a gun with a flash suppressor, extra grip, or military-style configuration in the wrong political subdivision, the gun grabber will take it with violence and punish you. They do this for one simple reason. They have been told to. Remember the granny in the New Orleans after Katrina? She respectfully showed the gun grabbers her revolver to assure them she was protected from the looters. Looters became the least of her concerns as she was immediately tackled, beat, and had her gun taken. This was not the work of Obama, Schumer, Pelosi, or any of the so-called gun grabbers. These are the actions of your neighborhood cop protecting his interests and serving the ruling class. Where this article goes, so will the accusations of cop bashing, and it certainly is not. If you are an officer who has never physically taken a firearm from a person, there is a decent chance this is not about you. If you meet the first criteria and never arrested a person for domestic violence without first-hand knowledge, like you would need in a shoplifting case, most people call that witness, it is fairly possible I'm not talking to you. However, if you have ever arrested someone for domestic violence without first-hand knowledge, not only are you a gun grabber, you are a criminal as well. My intent is to assure cops that we trust human judgment more than we do the I'm just doing my job mentality. Really, if you aren't a shield for the elites, would you think it necessary to shut down lemonade stands on nine-year-olds or any of those other daily occurrences that turn the stomach of this land much too often? We expect moral decisions and humane interactions, drone-like behavior, as well as gun confiscation, is unacceptable.